So the artwork that I chose from the collection was Roy Kennedy, My Memories Remain With Me. Um, as soon as I saw his work it really spoke to me but this piece in particular I found really powerful. Um, it's so immersive and um, the storytelling qualities that he has in his actual um, canvas and, and his etchings is just, it's like it takes you to a time and place and um, it really just you know puts you where he was and the feelings that he had and the bittersweet kind of um, melancholy but also you know the traumatic experiences that he had as well um, growing up as a Aboriginal Australian in um, missions and reserves so I found it really powerful um, and I think it's really important to hear those stories as well and understand our past and especially from a first person point of view. Um, so what stood out for me about this artwork in particular was because I also grew up in regional New South Wales and um, saw the effects of uh, missions and reserves um, and their effect on the indigenous population. I had a few friends uh, who were part of the stolen generation as well and um, getting to understand those stories and see it done in a um, arts perspective I think was like it just takes you to another level and I just think understanding those stories is really powerful and it's important as well um, and for me that inspired me to create my work for the Emerge um, program as well yeah in my arts practice, um, I also like to reflect on my memories and experiences. Um, I believe that sharing is a way forward and that it's a cathartic experience that can be um, empowering for not just me but for other people who also might have similar stories or experiences. And as a person with a disability, I think that's really important uh, being visible and um, honest about those kind of things yeah mm. so Kennedy's work actually inspired me to reflect on my own memories and youth and capture them through my own interpretation of his storytelling practice so a lot of his artworks also have um, a yarn attached to it so his first person point of view um, memories and recollections of a time and place and I'm doing a similar thing with my artworks for the Emerge program. Yeah. So I don't think that you could um, look at Kennedy's artwork and not think of those three words, time, memory and connection. Um, his work is like visceral at its core, I think, and the interpretations of his memory and life experiences are really what his work is about. And I think it just gives you uh, an emotional and raw kind of peek into his life and experiences and it, and it leaves you um, long after the, um, you've left and finished with that artwork, it still stays with you.